Hey, oh man, you look way taller than me. Why are you gonna be way taller? <laughs> you should lower your chair so it's fair. Nah, I like this. <laughs> what up? I'm in the relaxed zone. Hey, we're we're the wet rats. You may know us. You may not. I'm David. I'm Dylan. And we're the wet rats. We're a YouTube group. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of YouTubers, a couple of tube heads. Uh, so we want to make this video, uh, we've done some like discussion analysis videos uh, this year about like film and about all kinds of shit. I really my iPhone doesn't fall. My iPhone's balancing on top of the camera. And now that I look at it from this angle, it looks like it's not balancing that much. It, it um, makes it best, best phone of the year. Hell yeah. Uh, so we want to talk about our favorite uh, things of 2015. So we did a lot of movie analysis, we did some video game analysis this year. We're going to talk about the following categories. Favorite movies, favorite video games. Favorite mobile video games, different category. Favorite albums, favorite shows, not mm -hmm. just television. And favorite flavor of ice cream. We'll start there. Um, mint Oreo. Still vanilla, best new flavor of 2015. <laughs> All right, now, um, so I'm curious too, uh, if you're watching this video, let us know down in the comments what your favorite of all that mm -hmm, stuff was. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to see what other people thought about this year. Um, and real quick, I just want to get this out of the way. Star Wars came out. Yes. We're not going to talk about Star Wars really because it's still fresh. I don't want to ruin it for people. This video is going to come out like another week, so. Well, that's too much my list over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give. Just kidding. We'll give uh, a quick mention. Uh, Star Wars would is isn't my favorite movie of the year, but no. it's definitely an honorable mention. Sure, for sure. Yeah, it'd definitely be close. I'm sure it's on both our lists. Yeah. yeah, but that's all we're gonna say about Star Wars. We don't need to say anything else. Just in case you haven't seen it, I know that's a very fresh one. But now that's out of the way. So you want to go start with movies then? Sure. Right. Um, we have the exact same favorite movie I think this year. Um, unless your mind changed. Uh, um, Paranormal Activity: The Ghost Dimension. Yes. <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking um, of. Uh, our video of the ghost dimension? No. Check uh, it out on our YouTube channel. Shit, this is the joke's over now because I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> um, that movie with the ghost on the TV. Poultry Guys. Poultry Guys. A remake, remake of Poultry Guys. <laughs> um, no, uh, I want to give a couple of quick shout outs before we go into our absolute <clears throat> favorite. Uh, these are movies that are worth watching in case you haven't seen them. Very early in this year. I think I might have even had some early releases last year. Maybe, I don't remember. So maybe it's technically 2014. But why release 2015? Sure. Kingsman the Secret Service. Yeah, exactly. One of the most fun, uh, mm -hmm. just silly action movies that I've ever seen. Uh, it's great. It was really good. It was one of those things too, is like, when people saw it, that's just trickled through. People just kept talking about it. Like, yeah, it was the live, die, repeat yeah. of, of yeah. this year. Whereas like, not a lot of people saw it, but the people that saw it, loved it. Yep. Also, if you didn't see live, die, repeat, Aka, Edge of Tomorrow, yep. go back and check that out, because that's also a good movie. Do it. Um, but Kingsman was a, lot, it was a really fun time. I really enjoyed it. Uh, as a big horror movie fan, I really loved It Follows. Yes. Which yeah, might have also too. technically came out early last year, but like wide release was like January, sure. February. Yeah. Uh, really good movie. Really well shot. Yeah. Um, check that out if you're a horror fan, if you missed that one this year. Um, big honorable mention. This is probably a lot of people's favorite movie of the year. Mad Max, yeah. Yeah. Fury Road. Can't not talk about that. Obviously, a lot of people talk about it. It's incredible. Um, it, you know, it was a modern day 80s action movie, yeah. which is everything I wanted it to be. Uh, in a way, I almost feel bad that I, it's not my favorite movie of the year because that's everything that action movies need to be doing now. Right. And so to not pick it almost makes me feel bad because I want more movies like that, but it just, it just ended up not being the one I, I liked sure. the most. Uh, I think there's a lot of movies coming out recently that people are like talking about that we definitely missed or like haven't watched yet. Yeah, so like, there's a lot of Oscar stuff. Like Creed and Straight Outta Compton. I do really want to see Creed. Spies, and The Martian yeah. and like stuff like that. Yeah, I want to see all that. So um, we just haven't got around to it yet, so. Yeah. That, that's that we didn't pick those because with their bad movies, we just hadn't watched them yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that, yeah, I'm glad you said that actually. Uh, now Jurassic World, on the other hand, we didn't bother to see that at all and I don't really want to. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll throw that one under the bus. Uh, but our favorite movie of the year, um, was Ex Machina. Yep. Uh, Probably one of my favorite movies in a long time. Yeah, that Ex Machina. just like hit every single note of what I love about movies. Like, yeah. Robots, sci-fi. Sex. Sex, like just so many things that movie nailed. Like tension, like a bit of mystery. Yeah, you know, like, it's really well like, shot. Really the, well shot. The, the soundtrack is amazing. Um, yeah. The performances are great. Oscar Isaac in that movie. Yeah. Man, Oscar Isaac had a great See, year. That was one of those, Mad Max was kind of in this way, but this movie was, uh, when I watch a movie, I'm super weird in particular how I like watch movies. I will watch the movie the day it comes out, or maybe the Sunday after, depending on how big it is. I will go to the earliest matinee, 
and I want to go into a theater by myself. I do not like watching movies with people. Yeah. It really, really bothers me. I've just gotten really weird like that. I won't even like sometimes ask my friends to go with me. I just want to go by myself. Ex Mock and I went there. It was me and one other person in the theater, and it was awesome. I loved it. When I yeah, had a movie experience it, like that, it's, it, it's it wasn't great. many people for me either. No. And I, I actually hadn't seen the trailer, which I'm really glad about because I watched yeah, the trailer after. Trailer. If you were watching this and you haven't seen Ex Machina, don't watch the trailer. Just trust us, watch it. If you like science yeah. fiction and you like really good uh, performances between actors, so how, watch that movie. How we got the trailer Machina, seriously ruins it. Yeah, so much. how we got to make some information was I, I heard about it coming through like, you know, the whole like film festival stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Heard it going through rotations. Then I logged on like IMDb one day and I just saw X mocking on the thing and just sent it out. It's like, that's all I need to know. I know it's out now. I'm going to it. Yeah. It really sucked when I first watched it because there's like one person I want to talk to, obviously it was David, but none of my friends had seen it because you were going to see it, I think, later that night or the next day. If yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah, because I remember you texted me and said, Have you seen it yet? And I was like, I was seeing it tonight. And then I remember this specifically because I said, I'll text you after I see it. And the second I got out of the theater, I said, I really wanted to fuck that robot. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those movies, too, because like, I knew David had seen it. So all I, like, I think all I text was, like, have you seen the movie? And he said, and I and they didn't respond to Dallas because like, I didn't want to give an impression yeah. or anything like that. Because like those little movies, like, I think everyone's really going to like this, but I don't want to like put... This yeah. is one of the movies you don't I was know so glad about. I didn't know anything. Like, yeah. I didn't know that... I, I'm not even going to say anything because I didn't know anything. I don't yeah. want anybody else who hasn't seen it because I think a lot of people missed it. Again, you know, I said enough. Great performances, great yeah. writing. I think that's a it's, that's, I think that's a science fiction classic. Oh, absolutely. I think that's a movie that uh, in a couple of years, like critics, you know, it'll be like it has kind of on like some Metacritic's a little bit low on some tours. But yeah. I think it's a movie that some people will go back a couple years later. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. In a couple of years, the people that remembered it will put it up on the, on, on, on a yeah. rightful pedestal, not a bullshit pedestal, like a yeah, rightful, rightful place. Pedestal. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to see more from uh, that director. Let's see what else he does. Yeah, me too. He's worked on a lot of stuff. Actually, I found out that I, I liked. He's a writer uh, for a lot of stuff. But he has a, yeah, he's, he's written a lot of stuff. Thing. He wrote like 28 Days Later. Yeah. And he, wrote, he wrote a lot of Daniel Bryan stuff. Those, and um, there's another one. I was like, oh, wow. He, he wrote, wrote, he wrote oh, Dread. Oh, was that Sunshine? He was one of the writers. Yeah, Sunshine. Sunshine. Um, so, yeah, and he wrote Dread, which I never saw. I haven't saw it, but I saw a little bit of it. Heard good things. And yeah, we were watching it once. It was really good. Yep. It looked really good. Um... But yeah, uh, that's movie. What was your guys' favorite movie of the year? Let us know, and let us know why it was Paranormal Activity in the Ghost Dimension. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, let's, you want to jump into a video game? Let's do it. I will say real quick, for movies, I thought a great year. Even though like, there's so still too. a lot I haven't seen. I haven't seen See, like, the but, Oscar, like the best picture ones. But just the kind of movies I like, great action, great horror, sure. great comedy, all that. that everything I wanted. See, I, I have, I'm, always, I'm a little bit always more... Uh, what is it? Is pessimist the bad one or is that optimistic? I'm more optimistic. Oh yeah. Usually most years. Because everybody said last year was really shitty. I remember having a great year last year towards movies. I didn't like last year. I went to movies. last year movies like... so many times last year. It's like, uh... and it, to me, I don't need a bunch of movies. I just need a few movies where I went there. It's like this is a good experience. For yeah. me, I went to Gone Girl. I was like, this was a good experience. Gone Girl was amazing. I enjoyed Gone Girl. But I, I just I don't even remember what else came out last year. To be honest, um, The Raid Two. Hell yeah. yeah. But, you know, that was international. Sure. It wasn't and like, uh, I went to see Nightcrawler. We got out. And Nightcrawler was really good. Now, here's the thing. Nightcrawler's not a movie that's going to be good forever. Yeah, it's I never like, saw that. It is a movie, movie for that year. Yeah, I want to watch it. Good movie um, for that But, yeah, let's move on from movies. That's enough. Yep. Uh, video games. Now, video games, uh, I was kind of disappointed with this year. Uh, there was a lot of big ones that I was really excited for. And while I still liked those games, I just didn't get everything I wanted out of them. Sure. Metal Gear Solid Five. I didn't get everything I wanted out of it. Fallout 4, I didn't get everything I wanted out of it. Um, I haven't played Just Cause 3 yet. I'm really excited to play that. I'm going to play that pretty soon. So that will be up there for me. But even that, I don't think would be my favorite of the year. Um, but those are those are still all honorable mentions. Yeah, I actually almost even forgot to write down Metal Gear Solid. It, like, it was like, yeah. it was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, even though I was like so disappointed. We, and we've talked personally a lot about this. I was going through my list trying to figure out, because there's a lot of games I've played. I was trying to think of like, what do I want to pick actually as my favorite game? Sure. And there's games like Metal Gear where like, the gameplay's fun, but the story is kind of lacking, which is not what you want for Metal Gear games. Yeah, and I think, you know, a lot of people like it now, but I think in the next couple of years, that one will kind of just fizzle out, and people won't go back and talk sure. about it. Because it doesn't have the lasting memory. Right. People are really hyped on it now, but I think as time passes, it'll honestly be kind of forgotten. Because, yeah. you know, Fallout came out this year, too. Yeah. And Fallout, I'm going to be playing Fallout forever. I know that for a fact. Sure, But yeah. I don't want to pick as my favorite game because I don't play it because, necessarily, it has bugs all the time. Yeah. And the story's not really that. I just like it because it's something I can go in. It's something that's do whatever fun I want to, to kill time. Kill time with, yeah. Um, and, and that's not a bad thing. But I hear a lot of people say, like, well, it's not a bad game because I spent 200 hours in it. That, I agree. That means it's not a bad game. Yeah, I spent but I don't think you could say that like means it's a great game. game. Yeah, I, exactly. I just quite random jumps. So I was like, like I'm not really doing anything. If you're playing it that long, there's something good going on. Sure. But that doesn't mean it's an amazing game. I've it's just designed that I have several that profiles way. on Skyrim. I've played it several times. I have a lot of hours in Skyrim. I've never beat the main story. So, I mean, if, if, I've never been yeah. driven to beat the main story. 
So, um, I mean, can you really say it's a great game? The person's not really driven to beat the story. Of the yeah, game. and I mean, I mean, there's tons of games I've poured tons of hours into, tons of hours into, yeah. that I liked but would never put on a top right. ten list, you know? Um, then on, like, a different realm, Destiny uh, stepped up the game a lot with the Taken King, and that was really, really fun. But that's kind of a short experience. Like, you can't really go back and re-experience that again. Yeah, which well, they did add racing. They did have racing. Sparrows. Played, right? And, um... It's, I play. It's here's my review of Destiny. I played the data, it, the beta. It was a lot of fun. Never touched anything else. So good memories of Destiny for me. I, uh, I still have good memories. I loved it. Destiny. a free I, beta. I loved it. Sure, but a lot of people were. were yeah. Oh yeah. That issues. That's okay. Um, yeah. Um, uh, Mario Maker was really great this year. That's really really good. Mario Maker is my game of the year. See, I, was gonna, I figured that was yours. Um, just because several reasons actually. Uh, though you know a lot of people could easily argue that Mario Maker is not original because you're playing. Old levels, essentially. You're playing old, you know, assets and tools and designs. But to me, Mario Maker was an evolution of the series. Like, Fallout 4 was fun, but that was just more Fallout yeah. 3. It was better designed in terms of gameplay, uh, but it was just more weird. It was more New Vegas, it was more Fallout 3. To me, Mario Maker, you could argue that, well, it's just more Mario. But the, the levels that people make on there are like nothing I've played in a Mario game yeah. ever. Even some of the levels Nintendo releases are unlike n any Nintendo level I've played. Like... Every, every time I log in, I have fun, and I'm still enjoying it, and I like making levels, and I like putting levels out there for right. people. Uh, to me, that wasn't just more Mario. It was something new and fresh and evolutionary, uh, revolutionary for Mario. Like, that, to me, is going to be, I think, very influential, not just for Mario games, but I think we'll see other franchises do similar stuff, try to right. be, like, maker stuff. I mean, we've had, like, you know, like, RPG Maker in the past, which is totally well, something yeah, different. Well, yeah, people love that stuff still. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, oh man, I, I, I really, really like Mario Maker, and if, if the next 2D Mario game that Nintendo makes officially doesn't have level, at least a couple right. levels, where you don't, you just don't move it, it just bounces you around, then Nintendo fucked up. Like, I bet they, I, they have to, right? Because those levels are huge online, yeah, the ones where you don't move, and you just bounce around. Nintendo, like, I, I really think that those... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got cut off, guys. Uh, those <laughs> user-made levels, like, I think will actually yeah, inspire... Legitimate Mario games. Because we already kind of have the meta with um, automatic levels. So I think you're just developing more communities of people kind of doing new and more things. The more tools and stuff you like, yeah. you have to do something. Like I think it, it's a great, it's a really fun game. Yeah, and I just, and what I like about it too is like, I've been really busy lately with so much stuff. There's so many movies I've been wanting to watch, so many video games I wanted to play. And Mario Maker, I can I can just log in and play for like five minutes, yeah. and I'm done. Or like, and the best part too, you should play the we we use. So if we're doing something, yeah, else, we can, can watch turn movies that on. and like like, uh, like I'll just pop it on. Sometimes I just turn it on just to see if people have played my levels. Yeah. Sometimes I'll turn it on just to see if there's new event courses. Like it, it's almost like I I, I don't want it on my phone because I don't want to play those kind of games on my phone. I, I don't. I know a lot of people do, but it almost has the same like feel to me where I just yeah. pop in, check, play a couple things, done. And not that that means it's a good game. You know, sometimes you want to be able to sit down and play for 500 hours straight. Mm -hmm. But in a year where there's a lot of games where that's an option, like, you know, I remember Witcher 3 came out, which I did want to play, because I kind of enjoyed Witcher 2, I wasn't a big fan. But then they're like, you play for 400 hours. And that actually turned me off, because I was like, yeah. I'm 25 or 24 at the time, I don't, I can't do that. Right. And Mario Maker's like, oh, you don't have to. And again, that's not a criticism. A lot of people want that stuff. Sure. I'm not, I'm not saying a game's bad because it does that. I just think... It's not a game appealing to, to me because yeah. these aren't. We're not saying these are the best of the year. We, yeah. I might have said that, but what I really mean is these are our favorites. Yeah. These are what spoke to us. Dylan, what was your favorite video game? My game of the team? year. It was one I was thinking about that I probably will play. Keep playing. Had great story. Has for the most part good game game mechanics, and still kind of like the Fallout thing where you can kind of just go in and have fun if you want to do anything. And that's the Arkham Knight. That was oh, a really yeah. fun experience. I just uh, the story was awesome. I was kind of like into the story the entire time to like it would point to where like. I got home from work and I immediately started playing it until I went to bed and then it runs repeat until I beat it. Um, I mean, they really, really hit out of the park with this one. I think out of the... Uh, maybe people disagree, I don't know. I think it's really weird because they did the whole Game Awards. I feel like Arkham Knight kind of got forgotten. Yeah, it did. For the most part in that, like I didn't know, which is yeah, weird. Yeah, and only like five other games were remembered and they were nominated for every award. Yeah, it was, it was like the like, same five games. It was, it was like, like the really? five games that just like kind of just recently came out. It's like anything yeah. before that kind of just... It was really swept. weird. It was, it was like, really here's weird. the best games of Q4. Really, it was kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but no, I think Arkham Knight deserved way more credit than that. It was, a, in my opinion, I think it's the best one out of the trilogy. Yeah. I thought because I think that some of the things they did and went was like really cool. I haven't played it yet, but I really want to. I the love city Arkham is City. Amazing. I love Arkham Asylum. The cities they did for the whole thing is really great. It's, yeah. I it's really great really being actually in Gotham this time. You know. Yeah. You haven't really ever been in Gotham per se. And it's really great right. going to Gotham. There's one of my favorite things to always do is do like kind of those shout out to like characters and things and like the animated series. There's 
Sorry, my phone was like, I thought I saw it sway. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to There's still shout outs and like little Easter eggs to things all over yeah. the city with stuff like that. I love it. All the uh, villains that bring this one are really cool and interesting, all the side stories. The way you quest, you, know, you can map your missions are really cool. And then every time you defeat or find new villains or stuff like that, there's kind of like a museum thing in a way where you go to the GCP police department and they uh -huh. have like evidence locker. But it's basically just like a big museum of like past oh, villains of the awesome. game. And then when you get new ones, you put stuff in there for information. So it's, there's so much in that game and it's really fun. Yeah. Um, the only thing I hate is the game when it does this is I haven't been seen like the definitive ending yet, just because oh, yeah. you have to beat like the riddle. Yeah, and, be also, everything. and the riddle and stuff was okay, but I'm stuck on the car missions because the car missions are just not fun. That was like to me the big downfall of the game. Yeah, that's, what, that's not, what a lot of people said. I feel I like. just did not have fun. The driving around on your own is okay, but doing missions where you have to fight or do this other bullshit in the vehicle is just not fun. It just yeah. isn't fun. Yeah, I still haven't played that. That's, that's, uh, I really want to play that. Were there any other games that we left off because we haven't played this year that were big? Uh, I just put down Rocket League just because I felt like that was a big, huge kind of thing people were doing. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I didn't really get into it, but I feel like yeah. a lot of people... Um, two, I will just say really quickly, there were two games that I was unbelievably excited for. One of them I heard was good, but it totally disappeared, and the other was really bad disappeared. Rock Band sure. 4. Yeah. I was stoked for it to come back. I haven't played it yet. Uh, and apparently it's, it sounds like it's over, like everybody's over it already. Yeah. And that kind of sucks. And Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, I really, really wanted that to be good, yeah. and I'm really sad that it wasn't. I didn't play that either, because I heard it was so bad. But I will play Rock Band 4, Yes. Because it's expensive, yeah. and I have so many other That's the problem, it's like, not a lot, I wonder if that, the price point almost made it, people was like, I don't want to buy this stuff again. Yeah, that might people, be it. Like, people would buy that could definitely be it. Um, maybe mm -hmm. when the game gets discounted, we'll have a new, yeah. a new sway in it. Uh, but I was kind of ready for like rhythm games to be back in full yeah, force, too. and they're not. They are definitely not. I can kind of feel the same for Guitar Hero. I feel like they both kind of just died. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, best mobile game. We'll, we'll do this one a little bit quicker because I yeah. mean, not as much to talk about. I just yeah, wanted to make this a separate list. category, just because uh, you know you can't really compare mobile to real console and PC games. I don't think that's fair. Right. Um, to mobile games because I do think you know a lot of people, a lot of video game people don't take mobile games seriously, which I understand why they don't. But there's a lot of great mobile stuff. There legitimately is. Uh, and whether people admit it or not, everybody's playing them. Sure. Everybody is. Uh, so that's why we're putting it into a separate category, because I don't want to compare, like, what's better, the Phantom Pain or Flappy Bird? Like, right. that's, that's sure. not fair to either party. Sure. <laughs> um, but anyways, and I will just say quickly for mobile, because we talked about it, like, did the game need to come out this year? Because I think mobile's a little different, because things are constantly being updated. Uh, so, like, mobile, or, you know, they're getting new levels, or they're getting new things, like, essentially... It's kind of like a TV show, it's like rating the new season of something like kind that. Kind of, yeah. yeah kind of so we may mention a couple of things that didn't actually happen in 2015, so try not to be too bad about that. Um, Dylan, what, what do you got for mobile games? Uh, I put down three things, because these are literally the three things I played, except one of them I technically, not technically, I did not play, but I was going to try and play it. I was even going to try and get around it today, because I like the other ones, but I just didn't get to it. <clears throat> that's the room three. I love Room 1 and 2, super sad for Room 3, just haven't gone to play it. I only ever saw the first one, I didn't know they made sequels. Um, but other than that, I put down, as far as ones I did play, Fallout Shelter and Soda Dungeon. And Oh yeah, Fallout Shelter came out this year. Yeah, week. Fallout Shelter was fun for like a week. <laughs> yeah, li like a week. <laughs> Literally a week. Uh, Soda Dungeon, I'd have to say just by default, because I played that for like several weeks. Check out Soda Dungeon, I'm it's still, really I'm still jumping into it occasionally, and when I say jumping into it, here's the thing, I've been thinking about Soda Dungeon, because when I play Soda Dungeon, here's what I do. Okay, I'm gonna go on a mission. Here's my team. Set the game down. And do something else. Yep. I don't. Yeah, I don't really play it. <laughs> it's my favorite type of game. Like I've only really played one of the games of these because I had two roommates who were like really into these games, and I can't. I can't remember. I want to say it's click something or another like that. But it's basically a game they have on their PC where you just basically do that. You just keep grinding, 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 then you get more things, go through and go. Yeah. And those play in the background when they're playing other video games and. When they put that in mobile things, like, oh, perfect. I'm just going to put this on my phone and forget about it. It's, yeah. If you want an RPG with none yeah. of the commitments Commitment, yeah. of an RPG, check it out. Like, you know? With no commitments, no, like, no real negative effects or anything, yeah. really. I mean, you have to hire people, but, like, you get that money back, no problem, yeah. real quickly. So it's it's not that Yeah, bad. it's weird, because I've thought about it, because in some hands, I would just say, that's a shitty game, because you don't really play it. You kind of just sit it there and watch it happen, or you don't even have to watch. Yeah. Um... 
But at the I same mean, time, can, like... You can do it where you command characters. You can, you yeah. But, but come on. Uh, but, I mean, again, not from actually, like, sitting and playing it, because I don't do that. But, like, I have, like, 20 hours on my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just That's because I'll... So like, and I, even at work sometimes, I'll just, like, put it in my pocket and just... Mm -hmm. They'll level up for me. Oh, while I, I, while I did I'm the working. banker, like, right away. So, like, if when I was gone, yeah, I was going back to get a shit ton of money. So, check that out. I'll, if, I'll if watch you the ads to get more money. I, like, I don't even care. I don't I do not do that one. Um, What else have you got? Oh, that's all I had. That's all okay. I played this year. Um, for me, uh, there's a couple that stood out to me. And I'm, again, I think these were this year. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember what. The, you you must build a boat. Or you have to build a boat but, or something yeah. like that. See, yeah. I feel like I miss out on the mobile gaming thing. Because I hate people. Oh, like, yeah. And I just don't really. Not that I think mobile games suck. That was the sequel to. And I, I'm going to fuck up the title. Too. It's either like 10 million or 100 million or whatever. It's one and then a bunch of zeros. Okay. Which is a game I really liked. Uh, it was a pretty popular game, and the, the same team, basically the same kind of game, it's a match three game called You Must Build a Boat. And I actually really liked it, I thought it was really fun, I beat it a couple times, uh, I don't have it on my phone anymore because I constantly delete stuff. Uh, but that was one that stood out to me. Downwell was a game I really liked, that's actually on Steam now too. Oh yeah, I just saw that on a so, list, I need to check out the game. People can check that out, I've actually heard it's better on Steam, which I can see, because okay. I like playing on mobile, but the touch controls are a little wonky, like, I've heard a lot of people like, say that they've made it a lot farther than I have, and I'm like, oh damn, I played a lot of mobile, so maybe I should check it out on Steam. But it started as mobile, so it counts on my, on this category. Okay. But Downwell is a game I really recommend. If you want something that is very retro-feeling, but not like, oh, remember these old games? Like, it legitimately yeah. feels like a retro. It doesn't feel like somebody tried to make a funny little homage. Not that that's not okay, because stuff like uh, Evil Land on Steam I really liked, but that's like in your face with like nostalgia. Sure. Downwell is like a legitimate 8-bit game. They made a, an 8-bit game. And there's different palettes you can unlock. You can unlock like a Game Boy palette, and you can unlock all kinds of stuff. I really recommend Downwell if you didn't check it out. It does cost money. It's a couple bucks, I think, but it's a couple bucks. Sure. Uh, and then, actually, I'll give a little shout out. This one wasn't, I didn't actually play this a ton, but I had fun while I played it. Uh, Pac Man 256. I think you play that a lot. Yeah, I love Pac Man. I need to get that. Um, it's by the team that made uh, Crossy Road and Shooty Skies, which are two games that are kind of guilty pleasures because they're, they're sh they sound shitty. Like when I say Shooty Skies, you're like, that's a game. That yeah. sounds fucking dumb. But I actually kind of like that developer. They do have some like dumb like jokes and humor in their games. But I actually think they're making some of the most interesting mobile games. You know, they're not the most original for the most part. You know, a Pac-Man game, it was licensed. But then like, Cross Your Road is kind of Frogger, but it's kind of Frogger in like a new, fresh way. Cool. It feels appropriate for a phone. That sounds fun. Um, and Shooty Skies Oh, is... no, Crossy Roads. I totally remember that. Like, um, I remember just heard someone talk about uh -huh. that. Um, so it's fun. Yeah, I'm right, uh, I'm they right. talked about it on the new off topic. Okay, that's where. I heard um, it. So and is then, it, do you, does it work like you walking around? Is that how it works? It's like so. It's it's got just pretty simple tap commands. You like tap to jump forward like in Frogger, uh -huh. and then you can like swipe down to like go backwards, and okay. then you can move back and forth like left or right. Okay. And you just try to make it as far as you can. You unlock a bunch of stuff. Cool. I think they do a good job with their unlockables because they do like you can. They do have micro transactions. You can pay, but like. They do a good job of like saying like, oh, you don't want to pay? Well, hey, you made it this far, so here's just a bunch of fucking money anyways. Sure, yeah. And like they, they're they good about giving you stuff. There's never been a point in that game where I felt like, oh, I need to buy something. Yeah. Like I feel like it's always fun to unlock stuff. So that's my favorite. If you have microtransactions, I'm okay with it. Yeah. As long as, as you don't just shove it yeah, in the face. Yeah. So like you shove yeah. it in the face or you have to, like a thing you feel like you have to do. Yeah. Basically, it's like, hey, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can unlock if you yeah. keep playing. Or if you want to just pay like five bucks, you can right. unlock it. Right. It's like right a now. bunch of people, like, I'm a, like a real small tangent, not going to go around it. Like people complained recently that Destiny had a new feature where you can unlock an instant like level twenty five with a subclass maxed out for like some amount of money. Uh huh. But you don't have to do that. Like no, no. one's experience, no one's getting away to that game. You can still get that character. You just have to play the game. So it's right, like, that's fine. If you want that character that bad and you don't pay for it, you'll get that character. So like exactly. Uh, but then Shooty Skies was a similar thing to like Frogger, except it was done in like the style of old like. Um, like shooter games, like where you're in a ship and you're sure. shooting like a bunch of enemies, you know, like Gra Gradius or Galaga, those kind of games. I really enjoyed it too. I thought those were, those were fun. They're uh, so so one of those would be would be my pick. I don't actually know if I probably down well because I felt like it was a little more original than a, a Frogger clone and a sure. Pac Man clone. But I, I enjoyed all that stuff. Crash Road didn't come out this year, but Shooty Skies and Pac Man did. Um, that's it for mobile gaming. Yep. Uh, we're gonna take it outside the world of movies and games. Let's open it up. To what? What do we even have left? Music and shows. Let's do shows first. Oh yeah, good shows. Shows. shows uh, easy. Gonna, gonna be really easy because I barely watched anything this <laughs> year. Um, so if, if you're watching, and you're like, you guys left a lot off shows. I didn't watch anything. You watched more than I did. Yeah. But so if you're thinking, if people are like, man, did you watch anything? No. There we got cut off. And there's a big 
section of what people love with shows is shows that we just don't watch. Like we don't watch yeah. Arrow or Flash or Jessica or Jones, Jones or like Daredevil. Just, I don't. That's not that's, that's that not doesn't us. appeal to me. Nope. Uh, I won't necessarily shit talk those shows because I haven't sure. seen them. Yeah, I haven't seen them. They're not interested in those. Sure. Uh, I mean, I watch Gotham uh, occasionally, but like still, I wouldn't call Gotham a well-produced. Yeah, show. I watched a few episodes of Gotham and I couldn't mm -hmm. stand it. Um, so, um, for me, I mean, I even made Gotham on the list. Um, Kind of like the standard, like, Last Week Tonight in South Park, still... Oh, still Last Week Tonight's a good one. I yeah. totally forgot about that. Still really good. Very good. Seasons are still strong. South Park, I really enjoyed this South year. South Park was great this year. Yeah, really, really um, good. I watched a lot of The Daily Show this year because it was John Stewart's last year. Oh, yeah. Okay, and, I, and I watched a lot of his final episodes. Um, you know, that's not really a show that you would, like, put on, like, a top list, I guess. Yeah. Because, you know, for one thing, there's an episode every day. Mm -hmm. And and here's the thing with The Daily Show. Like, this is why I can't raise it that high. I always I only watch half of the episode every time. Oh, because really? the second half is always an interview. Oh, yeah. and unless I like the person that's being interviewed, sense. Yeah. I just stop. That makes sense. Um, sometimes you know I've watched some of the interviews if I if I care about the celebrity or whatever, but generally I turn off the interviews. I, I like the new segment where they're telling news but joking around. Yeah. Um, but last week tonight you introduced me to you because uh, Daily Show was ending and I was like, man, I want more stuff like this. And you're like, you should watch last week tonight. Last week tonight is fantastic. Yeah. It's really so good. funny. And it's informative. Like, I, I laughed so hard at that show. Yeah. But I do learn some cool stuff. Because I, I like the premise of being like, since our show was like a week from then, we try and find the new stuff people aren't talking about. Which yeah. Which is great. Journal about things, but like, oh, I didn't never think about this, or I didn't know about stuff like that. Yeah. Which is really great. Yeah, that's a great show. Um, I can't really put this on a list because it's still going and I, we haven't watched it in a while. But Ash vs. Yes. Evil Dead. I put it on the mention it because. It, it, just as a mention. Definitely yeah. can't rate it on, on a top. But, but as far as like as the new content shows, that's. Yeah. I mean, if only, was, I only watched two episodes. Looks promising, but I liked them a lot. Looks very promising. Um, as far as also as like new shows this year, um, not TV show, but a Netflix show. I put Master of Young and Seasons Always. Oh yeah, I've watched that. That, that yeah. was really good. I, it's I really, really enjoyed I that. I want to watch that. That was good. Um, the new season of Trailer Park Boys that we just finished. That was this year, right? Oh, was it? That came out this year. I think. Shit, I think it did too. I, think I forgot so. about that. Uh, okay, yeah, that was solid a really season. Good. That was a really but, solid season. But I feel like Trailer Park Boys is, is is similar to It's Always Sunny, where it's always right here, not a bad way. But oh, was the new Sunny season this year too? There was one this year. Okay, I, haven't, I, haven't watched, I haven't watched the season. That was a really year. good season. That's um, So last season for me, it's all of a sudden, it was pretty good. But like you're saying, it's kind of like on yeah, par. Yeah. I feel like this year, I felt like they got... A, they did some new stuff? They felt like they got a fresher bet there. They feel like there's like, cool. hey guys, uh, it's, you know, we're, we're having fun doing this again. Nice. Um, um, but yeah, when I, when I said they're here, I don't mean that's a bad thing. I mean, they're no, very they're consistent. Great. Like, like the you can pop like in any episode of It's Always Sunny, or you can pop in any yeah. episode of Trailer Park Boys, and you're good. It's yeah, probably going to be a good one. You know? Yeah, like, except the Shit in the Bed episode. Yeah, for <laughs> it's always funny. Yeah, um, they really should have been that one. They really did. I, I wonder if that's the big joke. <laughs> Maybe uh, people actually really like that episode. No, they did. Yeah, uh, which is funny because it's very bad. Uh, um, so anything else for shows? Let's go for my favorite show then. I guess. Oh, okay, I don't know ahead. if you have one or not. I just put Game of Thrones just because I mean, Game of Thrones is sure. awesome every fucking year. So. I don't watch it. Uh, I guess for me, South Park. Do you finish the season? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> but still, I mean, it's one, one yeah. episode. That's enough to judge. Yeah, it. and you know, it's funny because, like, when you say that, I'm like, well, I didn't watch the whole story. But here's the thing about South Park. Before this season, and maybe last season, yeah. you don't, you never had to do yeah, that. So that's kind of a new thing. Like, but, it was always you know. the last two episodes were a two-part, and they ever really connected. Right. Everything else didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. So I, I still need to do that. Um, all right, best album. This I'm just going to get it out of the way. The new Wu-Tang Clan album, great. Yeah, great. I heard actually, it. I bought it. I'm the one. I bought it. I'm going to be controversial. I think it's R. Kelly, The Buffet. Is that an album that came out this year? Yeah, I had to write that down because it's like, that's going to be the worst the thing buffet. ever. What does that mean? <laughs> he recorded the album in line at the buffet. How is that a love album? <laughs> Don't let him in your buffet. <laughs> oh, R. Kelly, why are, you, why are you still making a career? Um, yeah, you know... Uh, I forgot a lot of the albums that came out this year. I did year. too. I just had to go to the Wikipedia page and like wrote down. I was like, oh shit. There was a couple of albums I was a little disappointed by. I sure. thought a lot of the Ray's new album was like really boring. Yeah. There were a couple of cool songs on that, but I thought it was like a big bummer. Uh, I was kind of excited for the Demi Lovato album actually. After her oh, single yeah. was fucking awesome. Did you check it out? I, I didn't really listen. I listened to like a couple other songs okay. that didn't draw me just in. Just kind of generic. Again. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I um, think it was awesome. I actually kind of liked a few songs on the new Selena Gomez album. Really? <laughs> but uh, Disney pop stars aside, let's talk music that we actually listen to a lot. Um, yeah, I had to like, I had a hard time kind of narrowing it down. Yeah. I kind of like had like a top thing. Sure. There's uh, still some albums that I never got around to this year. That sure. I, I can't think. I actually, I should have looked this one up a little bit better. I, I didn't really think too much about the <laughs> album one. So the Blood Hound Gang came out with an album this year. Oh, they did. And yeah. I, I only listened to a couple of the singles before the album came out. Oh yeah. And I didn't like them. Nah. I didn't think they were very right. good. 
So I don't know if the I don't know if it's like they're not good anymore or if I'm not like in high school anymore. I think that's it. Because the last time was two thousand five. Sure. And I, to me, it's almost like Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah. Whereas, like, hey, when we were younger, this kind of humor was really funny. Yeah. Uh, but we're not anymore. Exactly. And now these guys are like fifty, and they're still yep. singing about titties and stuff, and it's yep. not funny anymore. Eating ass is like like the the first song on the over. track is uh, my dad said this is for pussies. So it's just yeah. like, you know, yeah, it was just it was kind of like all same. right, you guys yes. are doing this again. Yeah. But apparently they're making other countries, so I guess keep doing it. Sure. I yeah, I mean, because it is a little bit more uh, dancey stuff, which kind of always been one of my favorite ones, but not yeah, like, in a good way. So I think they're just trying to do that. But uh, I guess for like mentionables, because Mas Mas got down the channel, that was really disappointing. Which oh, I didn't even listen to that. Yeah, it was all right. It was okay. I kind of, I was really bummed because I was looking forward to that a lot. But uh, Eagles Death Metal had them, but it was kind of just. Okay. Yeah, you know, I love Eagles Death Metal. I really do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I listened to their album once, and I actually, I totally forgot about. It. I haven't listened to it since. Yeah. I haven't at all. Grimes came on the album, and I haven't, to be fair, I've only listened to hers maybe once or twice. I haven't get like a good, like, hardcore too, but I, yeah. for the most part, I, I generally liked it. I did too. Um, I heard some of the singles and I thought they were a little disappointing, but uh, once I actually started listening to the album more, yeah. I started, it, it warmed up on me. And I, I still haven't, I don't think I even listened to the whole album. I think I listened to most of it, but there's some songs in there, especially a couple songs that weren't singles that I really started yeah. getting into. Yeah. Uh, and some of the singles were pretty good. And so, I really good enjoyed. Album. The Weekends album was still pretty good, still pretty on par. I never got around to listen to that. Uh, the Church's album was pretty, I mean, pretty on par, pretty good. I never listened to that either. Um, for me, though, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my favorite one. Go for it, yeah. Mine's kind of a tie because I can't decide which one I like better. Um, between, uh, I got to even look at the names because I even did it because I forgot the album. Nice. They're both questions, funny enough. Nice. The title is. Um, it would be between, god damn it, so many notifications. Uh, Joy Waves, How Do You Feel Now? And hot chips, uh, why makes sense? Uh, uh, it's funny, it's really, funny you brought up hot chips because I just remembered as we were talking, I, I forgot to listen to that album. Oh, really? So I listened yeah. to that album, and they're both really similar albums because they both have very similar kind sure. of styles. So I think that's why I like that. And that was just like what I was in the mood for this year. Yeah. So both those are really, really good. I don't know if there's multiple. I just listened to one on uh, Spotify, which is called the Definitive Edition. Okay. So I don't know if there's like multiple ones, but I just like that one just incl includes like the EP stuff before, which had a lot of really good tracks on it. Nice. So that's to me like that's a really good one for Hot Chip. And then Joy, Joy was kind of like, I mean, they haven't really broke out yet. I can't even find like Metacritic scores on this album for this one. I was trying to look. Oh wow, yeah, I haven't, I, I've heard of Joy, but I've never. I've, uh, I've but it's really, really, really good. Yeah, they're just, I mean, it's one of those things where it's an album you could tell they made to be like not here's our singles and here's some other shit it's like mm -hmm. hey here's a bunch of like you can just listen to this album like you know it's nice. a listenable album so it's really good those are mine um yeah i've been I meaning i need to go check out that hot shit all right sorry we got cut off because our card got full uh so i'm gonna try to wrap this up quick before this card fills up too because i didn't clear this one uh didn't listen to hot chips album because i was gonna buy it on vinyl because they had a cool thing with vinyl if you're familiar with the album you know what i'm talking about but i never found it so i totally forgot to listen to it because i was saving it for the vinyl and then when i couldn't find the vinyl i just never <laughs> listened to the album um <laughs> But uh, I really I love their last album. Uh, yeah. So I really want to hear the new one. I should I should check that out. Uh, I liked uh, Doom Tree's album this year. All Hands came out like January. It came out super early. I actually forgot it came out this year. I liked that a lot. I listened to that a lot. I have that on vinyl. Um, and then I didn't really listen to anything for a while until summer. And then Miami Horror's new album came out. Oh shit! Um, I totally forgot about Miami All Horror. Possible Futures, I believe the album's called. Yeah, that would be on my list too. I totally forgot. That was uh, that's not my my favorite this year actually because I, I kind of forgotten about it too. Uh, that was just such a good summer album. It was yeah, like it was. so like chill wave and like oh man, that's just that's like it's really good album. Go go outside on your porch. Turn really, that album. This is the best crack, thing. This was the best thing ever because I have to go a road trip tomorrow. And there's a oh, bunch nice. of albums in front of the I was like, hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. I've got my shit ready. Um, but yeah, man, I, I loved that album. It was everything I wanted uh, out of their sophomore, uh, mm -hmm. what's it called when a sophomore thing is good, not a slump. Sophomore success, we'll sophomore, say that. Yeah. Um, and I really liked Yacht's new album. Yeah, Yacht's I thought the future would be cooler. Uh, I didn't even put that much just because I knew you were going to bring it up. So I was like, well, you're going right. to that would, that would be my favorite until I remembered all possible futures. Maybe that's above. Uh... I was really hoping that Eagles Death Metal album would be good because I wanted to do the rock album yeah. this year. The I single album was really good. Yeah, the single was great. It was really I loved that single. Zipper Down was that. Speaking of that, singles, that's the album shout out to the, the, I don't remember. Major Lazer's Lean On single. That was probably the song. Oh yeah, that was a great that was song. A great that might be like the best individual song. Yeah. Year. That has like the most plays on Spotify out of any Oh yeah, song. it's funny. You've heard that song. Uh, you know. That song's great. Um uh yeah. That's that's it. I, I like the Yacht album a lot. I thought it was great. Uh check that out if you haven't. Check out at least the single. I thought the future would be cooler. Mm -hmm. 
Yachts of Band, I've always kind of liked some of their singles, but I never thought they made a good album. I liked the last album a, a decent amount, uh, Dystopia, or what was the album actually called? Or no, the album was called Shangri La, Shangri yeah. LA. Uh, but this album rule. I, 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 I keep listening to it. Uh, but there's a lot I, I still never got around to listening to that I should go back and discover. Uh, everybody watching, what were your favorite things from 2015? Why was your favorite movie The Ghost Dimension? Let us know. What was your favorite anime and manga? Yeah, what Yeah. What was the best anime this year? Mm -hmm. uh, Parasite. Yep, Parasite. Never, didn't finish it. Yeah. I think that actually might have been last year. Oh, was it? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been so uh, long. Digimon. But I really liked what I watched of Parasite. I yeah, want to watch more of it. Okay. Uh, Digimon Try. Haven't watched it yet. Don't really know if I want to. I watched um, the first episode. Okay. Was it good? I liked it. It was a lot of build-up. Nothing really sure. happened. Uh... Yeah, that, what else? What are their favorites? What else do we need to name really quick? Favorite? Wet Rats video. Wow. This one. This one right now. This, this is the best one that we made this year. Uh, but in case, you know, you don't think this is the best, check out the Phantom game. Favorite month? December. Uh, December was good. I liked October because we did a lot of Halloween sure, stuff. Sure, October was fun too. I liked watching scary movies. Um, and bet, what, what's the best figure that came out this year? Best figure came out. I'm going to say... The T-800, because uh -huh. I always wanted one, and I finally bought one. It's not in here. It's in my bedroom where I sleep, because I like Arnold Schwarzenegger to watch over me. I don't know if it was the best one, but I best surprise was probably the Songbird. Songbird, yeah. Because that was cheap, and it looked the really Funko good. Pop version. Yeah, it was actually legit. So. Um, I'm going to say best surprise. I don't even know if this came out this year. Rick Moranis from Ghostbusters, yeah, Ghostbusters. as is Louis Tolley. Is that his name in the movie? He is the is, he's is he the key master or the gatekeeper? He's the, the key, key master, right? Or he's well, the, well, he's the key master. The yeah, other the, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. So I check him out. Look at how good that looks in, without any light. Look at that. Yeah. Look at him. Look at how good he looks. Best surprise of the year. Uh, my Rick favorite thing Moore is getting Rance. this video so we can go eat food because I'm starving. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> uh, follow us on Twitter. Swipe us on Tinder. All that stuff. And the next time you'll see us. We will have eaten 100 chicken nuggets. Yep. Good night. Bye.